What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Next Gen. It's your boy, Destiny, a.k.a. Griffin Kid, and I'm here with... Nizomi. Imora. Okay, okay. How y'all doing? Good, good. good, good. I'm doing good. How are yeah. you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm just getting ready to... Uh, what's it called? This is uh, a very good special episode for me because this is... Uh, I'm get published and all that, so... Yeah. Published to where? Oh, like... That was something we're just recording with this episode. I'm... Put out to the world, and uh, I already got my logo set up and all that. So, uh, yeah, I'm just getting ready to, you know, make some make some money and also do some. <laughs> so, we're your first podcast you're actually posting. Uh, no, this is uh, the first official one. Like, we're like, uh, okay, like I've done other episodes, but like this is like the third one. So that way, I have like three episodes, and they all just can know what I'm, you know, what I'm about, and and all that, and you know, get them intrigued. You know, that's super. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, uh, if I'm gonna ask, what's y'all classification? Are y'all like sophomores, juniors, or we're sophomores? Sophomores, okay, okay, okay. Are y'all transfers or not? No, we've been here the whole. <laughs> we went through Panther Camp. We went through all that. We did together, uh, actually. Oh, really? We did. Same building, mm-hmm. more open life. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, so y'all, oh y'all, so y'all roommates? Okay, that's a bit. That's a bit. And y'all been in Panther Camp? How how is Panther Camp? I never really... You want to talk about it more? Yeah, it was, it was something. Like, it was a lot of drama, like, with the pals and stuff. But, like, they still, like, made us get together and learn all of the, like, the chants and then the shuffles, meeting new people in our building and the pals telling us about the parties and, and the, like, how to, like, survive on campus and stuff. Which was very informational. Oh, kind of, that's good. That's good. Uh, since y'all been here at PV for a while, what's your favorite part of PV? Your favorite PV experience so far? Man, I don't want to just say you know what everybody else says, but the parties mm-hmm. definitely the well, not just the parties. PV is not only just about the parties, but also like just the experience, just being around black people. Mm-hmm. It's just like very important. I think everybody deserves. <laughs> chance to go to hbcu for x for x yeah i think that like like being around black people because i came from like a pwi high school right. which was so different from here like the environment the people the like the way they act right. and i like learned how how like what not to like say and like what like white people are like not supposed to say. Mm, I see. Um, if I'm in accent, did you face any challenges as you know in the PWI institution? Yes. If so, what were they? Yes, I did many. Like, um, so I went to like a small school, so everybody knew everybody. And one time, um, I was like, I think this was like sophomore year, where like. Our parents had to come and, like, show, like, do something. And then I was going to bring my dad to, like, the the place that we were supposed to be. And then one, like, per- like white dude asked me, oh, you have a dad? Yeah. <laughs> he said that to you? Yeah, he did. I was like, yeah, I have a dad. What do you mean? And then, like, I was like, I can call him right now. And then well, I called him. It was like, he- I didn't have a dad. He was like, what? That's crazy. Uh, it was just an insane experience. I see, I see. Like how white people see see us in like like stereotypical ways. Uh, I see. Yeah, that's crazy. It is. And you? Um, my school wasn't much better. The only difference is that um, my school was kind of big. Uh, I went to like a six A school, and they were very racist. Like, they would just, like, say the N-word throughout the hall. Like, they wouldn't care. Like, they really yeah. wouldn't care. And it was just so crazy. Like, being here and then remembering being at, like, my high school was just so different. Like, I don't know. Uh, I get it. I get it. That makes mm-hmm. sense. <laughs> um, What's y'all majors in my accent? Like, my major is social work. I don't know. Y'all are I am a biology major with a concentration in pre-dentistry. 
Mm, okay, okay, okay. That's nice. That's nice. I'm currently a business management major, but I am switching to psychology. Oh, okay. What made you want to switch? Um, I want to be a counselor. Ah, counselor for like um people for adults or for like high school kids or anybody. Oh, anybody. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Why would y'all want to come to PV? I wanted to come to PV because um, it's, like, close to home, like, only 45 minutes. I can't live without my mom. And I wanted to experience, the like, the culture of HBCU. Okay. And you? Um, I used to be in, um, what's that thing called? Avid. So PV was, like, the first HBCU I ever learned about. And it's, like, the first HBCU in Texas. Like, what? And their colors, purple and gold. Purple is my favorite color. Like, why wouldn't I want to rock purple and gold? Like, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I see. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. That's facts. Uh, since y'all been in PV, have you, as it, as it exceeded your expectations, as like, have you gotten what you wanted from PV so far, or? Not really yet. There's still some stuff that I really want to do. Like, I don't think I'm that. I'm more involved than I am like last, like freshman year. But I need. I want to be more involved and like more. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say no, but like I just want to be more active, a little bit more active, and like make more connections with people. Oh, good. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, you definitely got to. You definitely got to. Yeah, I feel the same way. We like just um, joined this group called College Nation. Mm-hmm. Shout out to College Nation. Yeah. What is College College Nation? So it's a promo group. Like they throw parties, but not just about parties. Right. They want people like associating with each other, networking, and it's about like the different schools around Texas. So like U of H. Um, Lamar, Sam Houston, like those type of schools, they want to like bring them together to like network and have fun, uh, stuff like that. Okay, that's a bit. That's a bit. Um, do people get the wrong assumptions about like your um, your majors? Like maybe like the wrong idea about it, or like did you have your, the wrong idea about your major? Like, no, I thought it was this, but it's actually pretty. You know, it's pretty. It's pretty nice. So yeah, biology is yeah. hard. It is so hard. I did not expect that. Like I, I was like just like because before I was just cruising through like my. I used to be a criminal justice major, so I was just cruising through that. Not really like I was studying, but like I really didn't have to because it was so easy. Oh when right. I, yeah, when I transferred to um, biology, first test flunked it i was like what so i really had to lock in and do my work so if you're a biology major and you're going to pv study for real because it's no joke okay i say the same for um business management but i don't know i don't really like business management that's why i'm changing it to psychology so yeah. Well, have you got, have you experienced psychology a little bit? Like, have you, like, have a better understanding of what it actually is? Or? I've always had interest interest in psychology, but I don't know. I just, yeah. I really want to help people, and I feel like mental health matters, and yeah, not a lot of people believe in it, especially, right. like, I know, black families, you know, they don't really believe in it. Yeah. Mm. So I want to bring that back. I want to bring, like, I want... Like to bring an awareness to mental health and how important it is. I see you. I, I am, man. I like what you're doing. That's good. That's good, my son. Very few people have that, like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to, uh, what's it called? You know, my major is social work. And the one of the few reasons why I wanted to do social work is because I want to help uh, people. But not just people, both the young and, and the old. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just make a, a difference to at least one or two, however many people that I may you know impact and all that. Why well, I decided I was want to do my podcast business, which is this one right here, where I get to talk to you know people like yourselves and you know I get y'all understanding about certain things and it helps me to grow, it helps me to have a better understanding about. Uh, you know the different majors, not just just school wise, but also just personal wise. You know, and uh, and pretty, pretty much like a safe haven. 
pretty much and like you know there may be someone that's being that's starting in your position or like you know your your side like oh, okay i i heard about this podcast and this girl is actually going went through the same thing i went through and you know she ever you know she came up, overcame it and all that you know but basically just empowering and uh, just be free you know that's why i do this next gen because we are the next gen you know yeah. um speak of next gen you know everyone has their uh uh, role model, someone that they look up to, or they want to become. Like for me, I want to be the I want to be the Eric Thomas of this generation. You know, because uh, yeah, you know, y'all y'all know about Eric Thomas, et. I don't know Eric Thomas, <laughs> but I seen the movie. You seen the? Does that have anything to do with it? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Who is he? Explain. Oh, okay. Give well, me a er- brief summary. I bet <laughs> Eric Thomas is a hip hop preacher. He's um. Uh, He's the voice of the people, basically. He's from Chicago. Um, he's a high school dropout, but he didn't let that um, not make him become successful. Meaning, like, even though he dropped out of high school and, you know, he had, he made some best, bad decisions and all that, he's still far through life and became a, um, a Ph.D., he got his PhD, and, you know, and uh, he be- basically became a successful, successful man. And he was and he used his uh, experience, his life experience, to motivate both the young and uh, and the old to to basically say, "Hey, if you're going to do something, do it. Like, don't 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 wait, mm-hmm. do it." And basically, when he when he, I started listen when I started to listen to him. He was the he was the only move of speaker I could relate to. Like you know, he had they had the Les Browns, the Johnsons, Tony Robinsons, but not that I could really relate to them. You know what I'm saying? But then I found out about Et the hip hop preacher. I'm like, Et the hip hop preacher. Okay, let me hear what he's saying. I'm like, damn. And he had the he had that voice. You know he, how people had that voice where like, damn, I got this what he's saying. You know, so he had the word of God. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna hold you. He had it. He had <laughs> it. And then I saw what he was able to do with his platform. You know what I'm saying, and and he got so many people around, so many people that that he's impacting. You know what I'm saying. Even though he's not like a, a celebrity, he's not like a, you know those the big big you know people that you know. But he's still he's able to use his platform to you know help the com- his community, not just his community, but people that are in general. You know, so he has a, he has a bigger picture, and so that's one of the people that I look up to. That one I want be. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, he's like the person I'm chasing. Basically, <laughs> I'm trying to take his spot. <laughs> <laughs> I think not to just pay Eric Thomas. Just saying. But yeah, what about you? Who's the person that you look up to or you want to be? Um, and why? And why? Yeah. Um, there's this girl on TikTok. Her name's Dr. Mitchell. Right. She's an orthodontist, which I want to be. And I think she's very inspiring. Like. She shows, like, what black dentists can be because there's not many out there. And I believe that I can be one of the top ones because I have her and she 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 shows, like, in her TikToks what, like, really matters in life. And I think that's super cool. Okay. Oh, you found my accent. What did she show that, that matters? Like, you know what? Uh... Um, She shows, like... Like, how to, like, do, like, brush your teeth. Like, how to, like, study for the DAT, which is, a like, a way to get into dentist school. Because it's because it's so, um, what's the word? Competitive. It's very competitive. And she shows how to, um, like, do the interview process, which is, like, many steps to get into dental schools, like the DAT, then an interview process, and then, like, a couple of essays, right? right? And then you, like, have to have, like, a 3.5 or above to get into dental school. 3.5 or above? It's it's insane. (laughs) I know. That's why I even know there was a dentist school. I mean, that just makes sense, but I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I had this podcast, because (laughs) to know some things like these, dentist school, yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh. What about you? Um, I would definitely say, I know this is very corny, but I would say my mom. Um, no, that's not corny at all. My mom, like, growing up, you know, my mom and dad got divorced. So, like, my mom 
had to be, you know, the one making the money, the one being... My mom, growing up, she was like a mother and a father. Although, like, you know, she was a mother, she showed me things that I, you know, you can only get from a father figure. But she tried her hardest. Yeah. And, like, it wasn't just me. It was my brother, too, so... Her, like, having to work extra hard, pick up hours. She was a nurse, so she would work um, night shifts. So I would barely see her, but, like, she made it all work. Now she's, like, a nurse practitioner. She's happy, living life. But I really just, she showed me that, like, you don't need nobody to get to where you are. Like, you can do anything you want. You just have to be motivated to do it. And so that's why she's my... Oh yeah, that's good. Right. I like that. Shout out to moms, man. Shout out to moms. Shout out to this shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> man, and also if you have any questions about you, know, you want to ask, man, feel free, man. It's a free free zone, so don't be shy. <laughs> Where are you from? I was just about yeah, to ask. Yes, you have an accent. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, so funny people say that, but I just don't be hearing it. Man. I mean, you know, everybody so I, I, says I, I, that. I've been right, like, they say what? That I don't have a Texas accent, but I, anyways. <laughs> oh, wait. I have an I, I'm, I like what do you mean? Yeah, but um, I'll you attach your question I'm I'm from, I'm Nigerian Okay Nigerian. I knew it Are you too? <laughs> no I was from I don't know, know, know what it no, 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 It's a twist <laughs> But yeah I'm, I'm Nigerian But I, I, I grew up here uh, In the US I got here to All five So I pretty much Grew up here And all that Okay Are you a what, like, What's your classification? Oh I'm a junior Junior? Yeah, I'm a junior. junior. Okay. Shout out to the Jays. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been here the whole time? Or are you a transfer? Oh, I'm a transfer student. I uh, I transferred from um, HCC, a okay. community college, mm-hmm. and I came here at PFV, which is today one of the few best decisions I've ever made. I'm not even going to hold you. So what was the difference like? Like, how was it different from traveling, like doing community college to uh, well, to a university? Uh, okay. Uh, for uh, Well, the difference was... I got to, I changed. Like, what I mean by change? I, I'm talking about, like, I, um, the way I did certain things, the way I taught, the way I acted, it made me mature. It have, a PV helped me realize, okay, what are you trying to do? Mm-hmm. And and it just made me think a whole lot. So I realized I wanted to, what's it called? I want I want to get, um, you know, um, bachelor's, bachelor's, in, you know, in my degree, but I also want to what's it called? I wanted to just be all around better person, like just have just be a better version, a better version of myself. So, in, in other words, it PV helped me spread my wings out a little bit more, get get out of my comfort zone, talk to talk to people and all that, and just just really be me and not really forced to be test on that I'm not that I'm not, you know. And I'm so glad that I I, I can't to, to the school. I'm not going to hold you. Like, I really think it's G.O.D. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the stuff that I, I experienced at PV is, like, the stuff that I asked for, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I asked for a challenge. I got that challenge. I asked to, I asked for a better standing out. To, I asked for, asked for mentors, you know what I'm saying? I got that. Shout out to Mr. Freeman. Y'all can find Mr. Conduct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Freeman's one of my uh he's like an older brother to me, you know, so I go to him whenever I um have have a question or I just want to ask his best advice about certain things. And then I have other other people around me where that they can help me through through life. And uh yeah, man, PV just been a whole lot different for the good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, for Kimmy College, I really only got one day because I really didn't know what I was really we really wanted to do. You know, I didn't know what my I didn't know what I wanted to study in. I didn't know nothing. All I knew was graduate high school. That's all thing. And then my auntie shout out to her. She told me I should just go to Kimmy College. I was like, why? She's like, it's going to help you out. I'm like, all right, okay, if you say so, let me just see. Two years, uh, yeah, I could do that, you know. So I'm still, I'm still good looking. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to, uh, I went to the community college. I went to HCC, and uh, I, had to, I remember just to this day, uh, one of my, my professors, shout out to him, man, I forgot his name, but shout out to him. He, uh, 
he he brought a sheet of paper for each one of us, right? And one and uh, it was a list of careers. And I'm looking through. I'm looking at the list. I see this word called social work. I'm like, social work. What is that? I ain't never heard of it before. So I did what anybody would do. I went to Google. <laughs> Shout out to Google. <laughs> and I, I I typed it in social work. Oh, okay, help people to help people. I'm like, well, I don't like helping people. Don't like listening to people. And I, I just started realizing, like, damn, this is pretty much me on paper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then I did more research, and I was like, oh, I could get paid? Hey, say less. <laughs> and then um, the rest is pretty much history. And, yeah, I've I've been in love with, uh, you know, the the uh, my major ever since, man. Like, I like my major. Like, even though I don't know what type of social work I want to be, I know I want to become a social worker. That's even the best part, like, it's it's a one word, but like it's broad. Like so, yeah. so many different types of social workers and all that. And if I, I could get I could get paid too, you know, I I care about the money, but the night, the money is pretty nice too on the side. You know, that's on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've been like it was since, and uh, yeah, that's what was the difference. So I guess you could say like if I didn't go to uh, that he uh, that community college, I probably would not know what I wanted to do at that time. You know what I'm saying? Or from my major, but I'm so glad that I did. Yeah. Um, I was go- I was going to ask y'all, y'all since y'all been here at you know, in um, HBCU college, what are um some things that you think will benefit us as to, as customs? Like for for example, for me, I think um uh, we would benefit for having two type of programs: a boxing program where uh, it's not like um it's not like a competition; it's just like a, a sporting, you know. Because I I know some people that deal with uh, what's it called anger or just or excited or wh- whatever they're going through, and they really it's in some in it's in you know, in a negative way. Where, but if they if we had like a boxing program, we could they, they could challenge that in the in a positive way, release that, then act different, talk different, you know, just be, be a whole lot different. You know what I'm saying? And another thing is uh, therapy. Uh, for students, by students, so basically, for example, you. Um, you you were dealing with depression, right? And you overcame that. You would become like a mentor to someone that's actually dealing with depression, or doing, you know. And you would just basically help them out uh, on a, on a daily and try, you know, tell them that you can do this and you can overcome it and all that. You know, basically like be the be the you know this spokesperson. Mm-hmm. That's that's just me. You know what I'm saying? What about y'all? Um, it's a really good question. Let me think about it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take. Um, I like the idea that you said, like the depression thing, like how, like students that overcame it can help other students. Yeah. I think there should be a program like that here. Like, um, I, I think you like us students need to help each other out more here, because I feel like everybody's so separated in their own groups mm-hmm. and. Uh. I feel like we can become one and it'd be way easier and we can help each other out more like physically and emotionally and like um, helping like each other like with work, like homework and stuff. So I think that should be a program here. Okay. okay. Yes. And PV is like all types of different people. Like you're not going to meet the same people. And so I just feel like going off of what you and Amora said, like, that would be cool here. And then it's like you can get other people, like, the way people think is different, too. So right. you could just get all types of different people's mindsets. Like, we need we need that here more on campus. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of mindsets, why, why do you think people prefer to, like, I don't know, like, you know how you said that, you know, come together? Why do you think that we don't want? Come together or like you know, help each other out at some time. Not saying that we don't, but like majority of us, you know, majority of people don't want to do that. I think that people think that they are judgmental, like really judgmental. Like sometimes people have like a bad face, like we're just having a bad day, and they think, oh, they don't want to talk or oh, they don't want to like hang out with me, which I really don't think that's, like, the issue. Like, they're just having a bad day or they just have, like, 
there's like resting mean face, they're actually really nice. Like me. I'm a super nice person. But I just have a resting mean face and that's not really my fault. So <laughs> I think that people if you see me on campus, well you probably don't know what I look like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but my name's Imora. If you see me on campus and like Oh, that's Imora. Look me up, Imora. Cooper on Instagram. Uh, yeah, I heard it for one time. Yeah, it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but still, like, if like you should just go up to a person, ask how their day going, ask yeah. like, look at their outfit, like, oh, that's a cute outfit. Ask them where they got it, or just like make someone's day by just saying hi. I think you should do that. Okay, I totally agree on that. And you, Miss? Um. I think a lot of people, I think they, it's also, oh, mm-hmm. going out the question before, I just, this came up. Right. Um, a lot of people, you know, it's hard for them to make friends here. I definitely felt that, especially my freshman year. Sophomore year is getting better. You know, you just have to be more social. Yeah. I know anxiety, yeah. some people have anxiety, depression. Like, this is just going off the mental health thing. Right. Like, you know, I don't know. I just feel like people may have anxiety, so they don't talk. But, like, we just need to be more, you know, open to things mm-hmm. and having more people, you know, get involved on campus and not feel so alone. Because although, like, PV may be, like, a big campus or whatever, like, if you're like if you're alone, I feel like PV should have something to where like new people can meet new people and mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. form something because the college experience is all about what you make it and wow. like if you're staying in your dorm all the time and like dang I have no friends I don't like PV I don't like college right. well it's because you're staying in your dorm like you know sometimes you just have to get out of your comfort zone and go outside and meet people mm-hmm. talk to people you never know that's you fast like, that's like fast. you. Like, y'all, I don't know if you know this, but, like, this guy, like, he just came up to us, and he was like, you want to be in a podcast? And we was like, yeah, yeah. want to be in a podcast? Like, this is cool, like, stuff like this. Like, exactly. I would have never, me and Moore would have never been in this podcast if you had never just went up to us and been like, you want to be on a podcast? And I think yeah. that's super cool of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I got to, I got to. You know, I'm all about, I'm all about having people let, Share their thoughts, their opinions about certain things. Like I'm not trying, I'm not the type of person to get you know, the metro. I want, like, I want y'all to feel free. I want my guests to feel free, feel comfortable, and all that. Like, say, say some things that they personally want, like, feel comfortable with, with saying. You know, because you, know, you never know. Like, you may help out someone uh, that's going through something, or you might help out someone that's that's in the same major as you. You know, just may help out someone you never know, and that's why I do this next uh, do this podcast called next year. Because you know, once we step out this door, once we step out, we get the paper. You know. We're the next. We're the next leaders. You know what I'm saying. We're the next people that they, you know, they're gonna look. That our brothers, our sisters that look up to. You know what I'm saying. You know, because I got I got a little brother and I got a little sister. So, in a way, I'm like, you no, know, I'm they, they they look up to me. You know what I'm saying. So I got set like a good example. You know what I'm saying. And I, I try to like you know, uh, talk a certain way. You know, and uh, act a certain way because I know I'm representing not just me, but also representing my dad. And I also represent uh, my mentor. So everything they, everything that pe- the people around me teach me, I try to in- install it to certain people. Like, and if you accept it, cool. If you don't, hey, it's okay. And as long as I did what I did and I know where I'm where I'm, where I'm trying to go, and I, and I think I know where I'm trying to go. But I'm I'm, I'm one of those people that where I'm stuck where like I don't I it won't hit me until I, like until it hits me. You know what I'm saying? But I know that I I want to do this, and yeah, you know. Really cool. Yeah, maybe because I'm just getting old, man. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. How old? Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah, Twenty-two now. Oh, oh, man. Hey, if you know, you know, bro. <laughs> don't say that. I'm twenty, <laughs> and I already feel old. So if you feel old at twenty-two. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm nineteen. I'm still young. Uh, I don't know about y'all. We uh, huh? I'm nineteen. Okay, she just turned nineteen. <laughs> I did not that long ago, August. Yeah, I just turned nineteen. Oh god! Okay. You know, if we want to talk about zodiac signs, she's a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. What are you? I'm a Scorp. I don't even know. What? When's your birthday? November. November. That's a Scorpio. Scorp. November what? The tenth. November tenth. Yeah. 
That's coming up. Yes. yes, happy early birthday! I appreciate y'all. Appreciate so you're gonna y'all. be 23. Yeah, I'm, I was born in 2000, so you know, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a 2000 baby. Yeah. I'm looking it up. Hold on. Oh yeah, no problem, no, no problem. Why yeah? Why you doing that? Uh, I have a quick question for you. Okay. Um, would you would you say that the the music that that you listen to it influences you a certain, in some type of way. Like it help it changes how you think. I mean, or no, it, it's just me. Good. The type of music I listen to, what music? I listen to like rap, but like mm. that really doesn't influence me. Like I feel like more of the R and B side of my music I listen to influences me. Like how okay, the song "Pretty Little Birds" by SZA. SZA. Oh my gosh, that song cr- makes me cry every she's, time. Oh, she's popular, like that. Oh, yes, uh-huh. you should listen to her. She's great. You don't listen to SZA? No, I'm not that. No. Who do you listen to? I listen to the OGs. What's the OGs? If you know, you know. Oh, like Usher. Who are we talking? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. What? no. That's Ooh. funny. The OGs, man. What is the OGs? <laughs> like I listen to you, you Dolph. Shout to Dolph. Young Dolph. Yes. That's not an OG. Yeah, it's OG. Hey, yeah, look. Young Dolph is an OG. He's an OG. Really? Man. Yeah. See, I'm see. Oh, like. Well, you know, once you read a certain age, you know a few things, man. You're not even. You're Dude. only oh. like two years older than us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same thing. Well, three. Yeah. A year or two, and that's same thing. Uh, then listen to Gucci, man. <laughs> Uh, the, man, not the, Gucci the new, man. The new Gucci man. The new Shout Gucci out man. to Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> and 50. Oh, yeah. 50. Okay, 50. 50. Okay. Jay Z and Kanye, man. Okay. Those are the old G's of rap. Okay. Yeah, so in a way, they kind of like it. They kind of like influence the way I, you know, think and talk sometimes. I'm not even going to hold you. That's why I was asking, like, to listen to music that you listen to. Does it, like, influence you? Does it change you a little bit? Yeah, the newer rappers, yeah. they're like. They're really not really speaking on nothing like the old rappers mm. were. Oh, man. Tell me about it. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna hold you, though. I'm a big fan of Ice Spice, though. I ain't gonna okay. hold you. <laughs> Ice Spice, a munchkin in the building. Oh, I ain't gonna hold you. She got me, bro. She got me. I, 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 could, play, I, I could pretend no more. I was listening to her, so I was like, hey, this song is pretty good. <laughs> I love Ice Spice. Yeah. And then I started dancing, and then what's it called? Well, 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 who was going to look at me? Like, I was like, nah, it ain't like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just play with that. But yeah, she, 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 she cool, she cool. But um, back to you, what you were saying, though. Um, do you, um, did you, I don't know if you, were you finished or were you? Oh, yes. The, oh, this is a song, Pretty Little Bird. So I feel like when she said, like, Something about I don't fly anymore. Like, that really, like, got to me because, like, in high school, like, I was, like, so, like, vibrant and, and like, social. But when I got to PV, like, I was just more of a, like, stay, like, when she said stay in my room type. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dang, I really need to get out more. And, like, I heard that song. I was like, that's crazy. That's me. So, yeah. Uh We love that song. Listen to it. That's okay. it. Mm-hmm. And you? Um, a song that inspires me. Oh, no, like uh, does music that you listen does it does it change you? Does it does it change? Does it like influence you? That's what I mean. Like most definitely, you know, there's actually statistics on that. Yeah. But like I say, say like when I listen to sad music, like Summer Walker, you know, because Summer Walker has sad music. Um, I be you know. I be listening to her music because I don't, I don't only like listen to music. I like hear the lyrics and like feel like sometimes you can feel the way they feel like when they sing the music. So yeah, oh, I definitely oh. say when I listen to sad music, I'm sad. When I listen to happy music, I'm happy. But yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. And you got me curious. Now I want to hear your top five artists. <laughs> yeah, she has really good music. I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Okay. <laughs> nah, but, I do yeah. have good music. She does. Everybody asks. Okay, let me hear your top five artists. Top five artists? Yeah. Oh, I got mine already. Man, top five. Top five. Well, you go first. Yeah, okay. that's going to. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a word. <laughs> so, my top one, right? Like, top one of, like, top five of all time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. J. Cole. That sounds tenable. 
genius, man. And the people said, people say like, oh, he ain't all that. You're lying to yourself. Um, then it's a little baby. That sounds tenable too. Mm-hmm. Then it's uh, okay. So this maybe like oh, people don't like him, but oh, I'll go. I thought you were gonna say Drake. Oh. I ain't gonna hold you. What's about this is Drake? <laughs> That's what the OVO Wait, was. What, my Drake is in my top five. Yeah. So. You, like, oh. Drake is Old Drake You can't even lie Old Drake is really good You can't You can't say Old Drake is not good If I play songs <laughs> Right now You'll be like Ah oh, this I like this song. I ain't gonna hold you I already knew about Drake When he, In 2016 bro. Man I ain't gonna hold you I don't know what you better And then know. after that Yeah But he's still He's still nice He's too nice But my bad though. Going back to you were saying though, go on. So That's yeah J. Drake. Cole Little baby little Drake bit. Drake, okay. Um, probably. Man, I'm gonna put a girl in there, Nikki. Oh, Nikki for sure, most definitely. And then five. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Just oh, not the brother. Just oh. One second, just one second. Um. Oh, definitely, Little Wayne. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Okay. okay yeah. Let me let me switch that. Let me let me switch that around. Okay, so I feel like Lil Wayne before Nicki. So Little Baby, no J Cole, Lil Baby, Drake, Lil Wayne, Nicki. Mm, okay, okay, I, I, I like I like that. I like the list. What about you? Mine's not in order. I don't want no arguments. Okay, <laughs> so Drake. I don't need to say too much. It's Drake. Like, Drake. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Um, mm-hmm. Dang, I feel like my top vibe is gonna be controversial because I, I listen to rap, but I don't really listen to rap. So. No judgments here. Oh, Kendrick Lamar. Oh mm-hmm. my okay. gosh. Yo, yes. Kendrick. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, dang, this is really hard. I like Brent Fias. I know he's pretty new in this generation, but his music is really bomb. It is. Oh, okay. And okay, okay. you should stop listening. I feel like you don't know him. Do you not know him? I feel like you don't know him. Who? Brent Fias. Yeah, I told <laughs> you he didn't know him. You don't know Brent Fias? Bro, what? Is he a, is he a rapper? He's no. A, do you? Do R and B? You listen to R and B? No. Okay, that's, that's why. why. Um, Respectful. I say that this is gonna be controversial. Might be Kanye West. Okay. Yeah. That ain't she, controversial. I'm here on my list. <laughs> and you gotta put Kanye on the list in your top ten at least. Five. I don't know. Okay, this is top five for me, not for everybody else. Yeah, yeah. It's I say, um, what? Well, well, dang, um, probably next door because I really like him. I really like his probably music. Yeah, he don't know that is either. But you need to start listening to R and B artists, right? If you're gonna be, why does that sound like a song? Probably next door <laughs> from uh, Post Malone. <laughs> you listen to Post Malone? I mean, I used to, but like that sound like the title sounds like something like that's a song that he would make. Part next door. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, part next door. Uh Kanye. Okay. Who else? Don't oh, Drake. Drake, okay. Who else? Kendrick. Oh, Kendrick. Kendrick, okay, that's four. And then Brent. Yeah, Brent. Okay. I have no girls in there? No. Brent. I would okay. definitely say Summer Walker. Summer Walker. All right, well, shout out to Walker. <laughs> shout out to Summer. That's a bit. That's a bit. Um, how's this semester been going for y'all? Like, I just did the thumbs down, and then I did the fart noise because it's been BD. <laughs> it's been terrible. Oh really? Yeah, because I just started my biology classes, and I'm just like, dang. As I said before, it's hard. <laughs> but uh, yeah, me and y'all. Other than that, I think I like it more than my freshman year. <laughs> oh, okay, I feel like okay. it was my freshman year because cause I'm more sociable now yeah. and I like talk way more. I'm outside. 
I'm meeting new people. Facts. I'm promoting these parties. For real? Yeah. Hey, okay. Shout, Shout out, out to College Nation. Punch <laughs> Valley. You know, PP Homecoming next week. Let me get this camera. Punch first. Valley. Are you going percent. to Punch Valley? It's on Wednesday. It's on Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Ooh. A week away. You. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be working Wednesday. What parties are you going to for homecoming? The parties that I'm getting paid to. So what? Which kind of thing? He's going the, to any. Oh. The P, what's the other one? P Val P. Oh, you want a PV Holix? Yeah, I think it's that one. Yeah. Dang, I don't everybody. Want to say. Yeah, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna get going there because I'm getting. I'm, I'm gonna be working there. Yeah. Get paid. Nine going. Do you know what I'm working like? Where? What do you mean? I'm gonna be moving. I'm gonna uh, my uh, my boy uh, Tristan. Shout out to him. He sells a uh, lemonade. Uh, I don't know if y'all have seen a guy that has. He has like a cro- uh, cooler. Yeah, and he black. Like, you want some lemonade? That's how he be talking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm gonna be helping him helping him out and uh, you know. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. getting paid too with my own, my own on the side. So yeah, yeah I'm, that's the loser I'm going. Other than that, no, I'm I would be just be chilling with you know with my girl. That's all. Okay, okay. Yeah. But yeah. If anybody else want to marry us, it's just Punch Valley free punch for the ladies. Yes. It's only ten dollar free sales, y'all. So free, free drinks for the ladies. Mm-hmm. What about the guys? Man, sorry, y'all. Sorry about it. But that y'all, punch, y'all gotta get that punch. That's that punch is something serious. It really is. Yeah. You can't forget if you drink. Mm-hmm. That's tough. It's okay. Could be me. Okay. <laughs> nah, that's what I'm um, damn, I was gonna, I was gonna say something. I forgot what I was gonna say. It was gonna be a good one too. If y'all. If y'all could, if y'all could say one word to someone, or no, my bad, let me take that back. I want, I want to know from each of y'all, how was your high school experience? From maybe like ninth grade to all the way to to the end, like basically, who were you? Okay. In high school, who was I? Yeah, want me to start off? Y'all want to start off? Okay. You can start, you off. Can start off. All right. <sighs> That's how you know it's gonna be a good one. No, <laughs> I uh damn. I was uh I was that that kid that you would just um I was very I was not social. I know, surprising. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I I I was just I was just really the kid that would just go go to class, get the A's and B's and not really interact, you know? Cause I was still like, I was still figuring myself out. I didn't really know who I was, so I was just trying to look cool, be cool. So you know, I I I get like the skinny jeans, I'll get like the the, the the shoes, the the clothes, you know, the drip, you know. So I try to look fly, you know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't really know any better, mm-hmm. and and that got me nowhere. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I was just that kid that would just go to class, get the B's, and know one thing, which is graduate, graduate. You know what I'm saying? Looking back on, it, I, I really wish I could, I would have done a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But yeah, I was that kid that would just get those uh, certificates and A's and B's. Man, that's yeah. just me. Okay. Yeah. I was my freshman, my freshman and sophomore year. I was more on the like. Just get through high school. My school is very small. It was a two A, so it's like I knew everybody. We were I was friends with everybody, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go go with the flow. Really didn't do anything. Just went to school, went home, did some basketball in between, but that was lame. Didn't even play for real. <laughs> oh, four years sat on the bench, but that doesn't matter. It's hey. over. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? So why they even have you on the team if she's going to be on the bench? Exactly. They played me. But anyways, and then my uh, my junior and senior year, I started to do cheer, which mm. really, like, got me out of my show. Like, I was, I, was, I was very quiet. And then when I got to cheer, I was, like, in front of the crowd doing pep rallies, doing jumps in front of people. I was like, that's crazy to look back at. I was jumping in front of people, yelling cheers and stuff. I was like, huh, it's crazy. So my junior, senior was better than my freshman, sophomore year because I was in cheer. 
Shout out to Miss Maybrick. And you forgot. What? You're a homecoming queen. Oh. <laughs> She was homecoming queen. Y'all. Oh, for real? Yeah, I was homecoming. Hey, how was how was that? How, how did you feel? Uh, okay. So, first off, I was the first black girl at my school She's taking up her W's. Homecoming queen. Yeah, that was something. Like, I just felt like I was only homecoming queen because I was black. Uh. Like, I was only homecoming queen because I I know I like have a bubbly personality, but. It didn't really like help. Like I just, it just didn't feel right, and it was like weird. Like everybody eyes on me, like at the like the 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 game and at the parade. But other than that, it was just regular, regular day. Mm, I see. I see. Yeah. Um, my high school experience. Mm, I'd say like correlates with you too. Um, I was very shy in my shell. I'm very different now. I yeah. definitely think college does change you. And even if college is not for you, I still think just trying it out and seeing if it works for you is a good thing. But, um, yeah, so my college experience, freshman and sophomore year, were horrible, especially during COVID too because COVID came. That really yeah. messed things up. Oof. Um, it made me more, you know, into my show too, because like I came back to school my senior year and it's like, dang, like I forgot how to talk to people. I forgot how to do things. So I had really had to learn that. And then like, it's hard. It was hard for me to make friends cause I was so shy and people just see me and thought I was rude just cause what I, how I look. And so it's, it was very difficult. But I definitely say my senior year was much better, you know, because I got out early, um, senior skip day, and all those senior stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. that would probably be the only thing I really miss. And prom and homecoming and graduating. Like, all that stuff is very, yeah. I miss that stuff yeah. about high school. High school. But other than that, I definitely feel like I'm, and I also don't think that, um, you know, how some people peak in high school. I don't think that you should peak in high school. So honestly, like, not saying I'm at my peak right now, but you know, I'm traveling up in my peak and stuff. But wait, when you say peak, what do you mean? Is it like, uh, like on their like looks and personality? Yeah, uh. I definitely feel like your best. I guess peak is like your best moment of life, like where you just flourished from your po- oh, full potential. I see. I, see. I definitely feel like people shouldn't peak in high school. That's a whole different topic, though. Mm. But um. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's time. And that's something about. Do y'all have um? It would well then. How would I say this? Do y'all have any? I don't see regrets, but wish you had done certain a certain thing different when you were in high school. If so, what they were? What were they? I uh, definitely feel like I could have been way more social and done more, a lot more things. There was a black student union club that I did not join um, at my school. And I really, I really should have joined because, like, having that around you is, like, very important. But I wish I should have did that. And, yeah, just basically just been more involved and, like, not been so scared that people were going to think of me different or think that I was weird for doing this or I don't know. I just wish I yeah. didn't care about that stuff. Yeah. I, I can't have to fix the mic. Okay, so I wish I did different was speak up for myself. Like, I really didn't, like, they were, like, asking, okay, so this is probably going to sound really bad, but I was just, like, very, like, to myself back then. So I was, like, my, okay, so I went to a white school, right? You remember? Right. And I, they were like, could they, can they asking me if they can say like the N word, like, do they have the black card? I'd be like, cause I was scared that I wouldn't like be friends with them anymore. And I was like scared that I would lose them as a friend. So I was just saying like, yeah, I don't care. But in my head, like I did care. Like, don't say that. Mm-hmm. Like I mute mean, now. It's like, would go off on them for like asking that. But me back then, I was like, I don't care. Go ahead. So I wish I sp- speak up for myself more back then and have like the power to say no. Yes. 
Oh, gosh. That's really good. Okay. Yeah, that was really good. That was really good. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. I really only got like I think two or three things I was kind of down. One of them being, um, there was a particular class that I uh, took. Uh, it was called Aquatic Science. And I would I would go to that class, but I wouldn't try. Like I won't put no effort to it because at first it was hard, you know. Mm-hmm. And you know, and at that time when when it was hard, I would just pretty much like give up or just like you know just write whatever, but I never really put any effort. It wasn't towards like the very towards the middle towards the end where like I uh, decided let me just put a little bit more effort to it, and then I realized it was not really. That hard at all I just didn't You know Give her a try You know what I'm saying And I probably could have gone A whole lot better grade I got C on that class But I could have gone B for sure For sure But C's to get degrees Yeah they do They do I was just like I got just Just, just a little bit better And the other thing Is Paul Is uh, I uh, Could have stopped worrying Stop trying to fit in or like you know, start worry about what people think, or you know, and all that. Because you know, I think that's a huge factor when it comes to you know, especially in high school. You know, so I don't know about y'all, but for me, it was you know, what I'm saying like I was, I was trying to like just be part of something, you know, what I'm saying try to be what be with the cookies and all that. And like I said, that didn't really get me anywhere. And yeah, I, I wish I could just like, just be me, really. You know, what I'm saying listen to what my my parents were saying. I ain't gonna hold you. Shout to the parents, man. <laughs> they know, they know, they know too. And lastly, is uh, like you said, get a little bit more active, preferably like in the in the RTC or um, maybe interesting sports in general. You know what I'm saying? But at that time, I was really just focused on really just graduating. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's the only thing I really knew at that at that particular time. But if I could go back, I would uh, definitely fix those three things. Yeah. That's a bit. That's a bit. Um, do you? Um, are y'all professors um, black, Hispanic, or yeah, PV? I don't because I, I had I had uh, I have a, I had both white and black professors, so I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so weird because coming to HBCU, I thought all my professors were going to be black. Yeah, but. <laughs> At PV, no, it's not like that. You, I have one professor, and he's Indian, and yeah, and then I have another professor, and I don't know what he is, but he's not black. <laughs> but so it's weird, but it's like it's cool. It's cool, it's cool but it's like it's different. How do you, when uh, when you go to his, when y'all go to you know you, okay when you go to his class do you do you feel feel different? Do you feel like how you feel? Do you feel uh, comfortable? Do you feel like you shouldn't be teaching? Do you feel like... Majority of them are very respectful of, like, okay. us. Yeah. Like, they, they understand, like, it's different for them than it is for us. But most of them are respectful, and, you know, they, they, they're they there to teach and make money. But majority of them are just <laughs> there to teach and make money. In the money. back. <laughs> but some of them are kind of, like, you could tell they're kind of, like, you, like, are you... But... Other than that, though, I never really had any problems with mm-hmm. no professors. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. And you? My, uh, my math professor is white. Okay. She is one of, like, the best, like, math professors I've ever had. Well, I only had her. But, like, in high school, I had, like, uh, a, a teacher that was not very good at math. So my math professor right now, I had her for college algebra, and I was Oof. like, she's really good. And so it's like I'll pick her again for trigonometry, so yeah, oh, go to so that class at one. So. Okay, okay. That's cool people. That's a bad. That's a bad. And there was an accent because I, uh, I had a uh, what's it called a white teacher. He teached, I think, uh, U.S. government, uh, Texas government. I think it was my first, first or second semester, and, and he was really cool. You know, so I never really had a white teacher before. You no, know, my teachers were in high school. They were, they were you know, they were black. You know. Mm-hmm. Then I got to this class. I, I, and, you know, everybody else was you know, was black, and you know, we had this one white teacher, and he was really cool, and he didn't make me feel like you know I was I was different or anything like that. 
But I, I did ask them, what's called? Like, do you ever feel like pressure? Not pressure, but just like, man, you don't want to say the wrong one for anybody. And I, or like, how do you see us? And he told me he sees us or just like as students, you know what I'm saying? Like, he sees us, he don't see us as, you know, black or not. That. He just sees us as costumes, you know what I'm saying? And I was, and uh, I got even more comfortable, you know, with, you know, talk to him, man. He was really, he was really cool guy, really cool guy, really cool guy. Yeah, we need we need we need more those man. Um, quick quick question, you know you know how I said like I have a, a mentor, you know Mr. Freeman out there, and I just wanted to I can talk to you or feel comfortable with certain, about certain things. Do y'all have that? You know, do y'all is there one that particular one that comes to mind? Like, man, I could talk to this person, I feel comfortable about anything. It could be he or he could be a male, female. You like know, at PV, PV or just in general. Well, let's just start with PB first. I don't really have yet. any mentors at PB. Do you? Uh, no, I don't have any mentors at PB. Okay. But um, I have been talking to my accounting professor sometimes, and he does give me good advice. But I just dropped this class. Oh. Sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> he's cool. He's cool. But I had to drop. I had to drop his class for a different reason. But um. he, I guess, he could kind of be there. Okay. 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 Okay, well, let's say outside people. Um, probably my dad. Mm. Yeah. Shout out to Pops. Shout out to Dad. Mm. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, he he really, he, like, is tough on me. And, like, sometimes I get tired of it. But, like, I know that, like, I'm, he's supposed to do that. And I really appreciate him for that because if I, like, if I didn't have him, I would have, like, definitely... Definitely, probably dropped out of dropped out of. Why well, you dropped to biology? Because I was oh. failing. But like before, I was like, I can't do this. Like da da da. He's like, Do you want to be poor? I'm like, No. He's like, Okay, then you have to do it. So it's like tough. <laughs> <laughs> so, no questions asked. Yeah. So I think he's definitely a mentor okay. and a role model. I forgot to mention yeah. him. Not, not trust me. I, I, I can't understand. My dad is also like. It's E.T. and then, you know, it's my it's my pops, man. I think yeah. that's just how dads are. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, my dad's like that. Yeah. Right. But I, my dad's not my mentor. But, yeah. <laughs> oh. So, wait, who is your mentor? Then? Mo- uh, uh, my mom, mom's, probably. Uh, mom's side, man. Shout out to Okay, that's a bad. That's a bad. Um, damn, I was going to say, yeah. Um, I said, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something, something interesting. I don't know. I have any questions for you? I don't think I have any more. I don't think I have any questions. Okay, okay. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you, could y'all see? Would 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 y'all be considered being mentor to to students or to someone? Or do you, have y'all been mentor to a little bit some, to someone like someone like you know? Will go to you for advice or like this and that. Yeah. Really? Yes. Uh, how does that feel? It feels good. Like mm-hmm. I love helping people. I want to be a counselor. So yeah. like it feels good, especially like knowing that you're the one they come to whenever they feel a certain way and you can get them out of that mindset or something. It makes you feel important. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Great. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, do y'all feel responsi- responsibilities? Like, you know, me being a uh, daughter's child in, in the fam, and I have people that look up to me and not that. So, you know, I have a little bit of responsibilities. But besides all that, I also have, like, you know, I have my, you know, my mentors that, that teach me and all uh, that, that I kind of have to represent. Do y'all have, have that, you know? I feel like you have that to a certain degree. Like, you know, you have a certain standard that people hold on you. Yes, absolutely. So my family, like, not needs me to, like, be successful, but, like, really putting pressure on me to be successful. Like, I know, like, they, like, still, like, unconditionally loves me if I don't be successful. But, like, in my head, like, I have to do this or it's nothing, you know? And... I just feel like that it's very, like, a lot of responsibility. But, like, 
it's not them putting pressure. It's on like on me. It's myself putting pressure. That's what they like, I feel like I'm responsible for myself. That makes wow. sense. That's the that's the time to sign on, yes. And you? Um I didn't really start feeling like really, really responsibilities until I was in college because it's like when I'm here, it's like I'm by myself. Like I have to pay for everything. And it's like I have to be responsible enough with my money. Like, do I need this? Do I need that? And like what I'm putting my time in and like my classes and like what am I like doing after class and like like I just have a lot of responsibilities now. Wow. I guess that comes yeah. to growing up and stuff, but yeah. It gets stressful, really. Trust me, I, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> um, that's bad. That's bad. Um, if y'all could go back and talk to your younger, and go back in time and give your younger self advice, well, just one piece of advice, just one thing, what would, what would y'all say? <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> like, I want like to go to like college so bad. Like, I wanted to get out. I wanted to be on my own. No, <laughs> I, <laughs> so, I want to go back so bad. Be at home. My mom cooking me meals, mm-hmm. paying for my food. Mm-hmm. Man, that's the reason. That's that's the one advice. Enjoy it now before it's over. Yeah. Because when it's over, you're on your own. Mm-hmm. You worked our Deion De- De- Sanders special. You said, hmm? you, "Oh, you did okay." What well, Deion Sanders said something like that too. When it's over, it's over. I was like, "Oh yeah." You, you copy and paste. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. But yeah, you right about that though. You? Um, yeah, I would say the same thing as Amora. Um, and like to just have fun and like just live in the moment. When, I feel like when I was younger, I would overthink, over and I still overthink, over analyze. But it's something I'm working on. But I would overthink and over analyze every single thing, and would be like, "Should I do this? Should I do that?" And I would miss on uh. things that could, you know, make my life better. So I really feel like if I could go back, I would have told my younger self, like, "Hey, like, just take it one day at a time. Like, have fun. Like, life is short. You never know when it's gonna happen." Uh. I would tell myself, it only gets better from here after high school. Like once he once he graduates this stage and then he sees me see him, I'll be like, it only gets better from here. And um, don't worry about what people think. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah. And you know, so funny. I don't know if it, I, don't, I don't know if I'm wrong, but I feel like that's one of the few issues that we have as a as college students mm-hmm. that we have um, we. We we want to look a certain way, we want uh, want people to see us a certain way. We want we 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 care about what people certain people grip what people think when we really it should be the people that we that are like our mentor or our, our parents or you know the people that really care about see us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Y'all, would y'all agree about that? Yeah. Yeah. So how how, how would we fix that? Like how how we st- how we stop being afraid or just not being ourselves? You know what I'm saying? Like. How would, how would you how you combat that? I think it just it just starts with the community. Like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like we just need to come together and work on it together. Mm-hmm. That's the only way it'll really solve. Okay. Okay. I agree. You agree? Okay. That's a bit that's a bit. Um uh, speaking of community, um what what are other issues that we, that mm-hmm. um that could be fixed. That need to be fixed. Or people are, or it's being overlooked. As you know, as a costumes, you know, I said, um, what's it called? Opinions or like you know, trying to look a certain way, you know, or not that. Mm. No, if y'all don't, it's okay. I was just, I'm just trying to see from my our different perspective. I don't really know. I feel like. One thing about Prairie View yeah. is that they include, like, a lot of things. Like, they have, a, like, groups of, like, each thing that you could be in. Yeah. And, like, and I think that's a way of, like, including us. Oh, wait. What was the question? 
then another question was, uh, what are some issues that us clashes um, need to fix or are being looked on? I looked over like no. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, I got mine. Okay, go ahead. Oh, but no, no, no. Go ahead. Um, oh, it's gonna be a good one. Our health and like <clears throat> our STD rates mm. and stuff like that. I think health health is very important. Get checkups. Get stuff like that. Okay, I know we're young and our body is, like, more adaptable and more we can move more and do all this stuff. But health is important, and especially when you're old, you're going to wish that, you know, you've done more stuff. Like, work out, like work out, walk. Like, this is a campus, like, campus-based, you know, PV, you have to walk places. Sometimes walking is good. Like, you need exercise. Like, I don't know, just take care of yourself, and not just physically, but mentally, too. I really just feel like college students need to have that way more important. I see. I see. What were you going to say? What was I going to say? <laughs> see, you should have went first. Uh, uh, I think I agree with her, too. But I think that what was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh, it's okay. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. That's a bad, yeah, okay. I, I like what you said. I like what you said. Um, what, what do you think it's kind of, hmm. I don't, how do I say this without well, making it seem like I'm, I'm trying to make it bad or like that? What do you guys think is a problem with this current generation? And I mean, I know we we have a lot. <laughs> I know we do. We have a lot, but like, let's just say one or two or three main ones. Like for me, I think that um, this this you know us current generation, you know that we are pretty much everywhere and nowhere. Like we don't we we are not looking at like the important things. When we buy important things, as in like. Who are we trying to be for real? Who are we who are we want to be, and who are we trying to become? You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to become a I want to become a social worker. That's cool, but also at the same time, I also want to impact uh, other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, help out the, the, the my community, help out um, both the young and do basically help out. Just pretty much just help, help, help people. You know what I'm saying? You know how about my priorities right? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like. Um, if it wasn't for the people that was around me, I'm not. I'm not even gonna hold. You. I'm not sure that I would be the person that's seeing you right now. You know what I'm saying? I think, and you know, because they taught me how to be respectful. You know what I'm saying? And not to judge a book by its cover. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that was one, like one of the few things that I, uh, I, I did when I was in high school. Like I would look at a certain person and I think they're this, but they're really not. So for example, there was this guy. Um, I was going to Family Dollar, right? And I went, and you know, I see him, you know, just outside, and I thought he was, you know, home, you know, homeless, based on the, based on his, his parents, you know what I'm saying? And I see go to the store, I'm like, okay, I didn't think that much, much of it, but then, you know, I for some reason, I just started talking to him. And then I found out that he's, you know, uh, he he's he's actually pretty good, <laughs> he's pretty sad, and you know, he was in the army this and that, and I'm like, oh wow, I would never guess that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I I say like I feel like this condition that judge judge this book by its co- just people and not really take into like appreciate the, the people that we have around us, like, you know, the the older people, like Mrs. uh Mrs. Cyrus or Mr. Freeman, you know, those people that, you know, that have experienced life a little bit and all that. And I feel like if they you know, if some of us actually took the time to listen and ask just for advice or just like Help! I feel like that would change a certain, change a certain group of people' perspective. You know, I'm not gonna differ word that bad, but that's basically what I'm trying to say. Well, but I feel like you want to say something. But. Um, no, I agree. I agree yeah. with what you said. Okay. Well, is there well is there another anything that you know you would like to take input or like you know, like uh, I feel I also feel like you know this conversation is. Or is looking at this in the wrong way or no? Um, not 
not nothing I can think of. Nothing you can think of. Okay, okay. And you? <laughs> God. No, it's because my piercing is like oh. is hurting. Yeah. So oh. I agree with what you said. Like people judging a book by its cover. Like if I see someone, because we are like, if you see a person with like J's and chains, and like they really with it. Can I cuss? Uh, <laughs> you can. Like, I was, was gonna they, say. I was gonna ask that question too, but uh, I guess not. They really put that thing on. And meaning close, and I was like, they probably like, oh, they got money. They like, they just like, they really out there. But like in reality, we as Gen Z want people to see that we we want like we want people to see that we've made it, mm. and we like beat the odds and stuff. But in reality, we haven't. We're still struggling with like stuff and. Right. We're just like putting a front on, I guess. But like, if like other people are like, like, as you said, like the homeless man are like really like making it, they have to stuff figured out. Yeah. They like don't want to impress people because they already got it, right? Right. So that's why I agree with. Okay. Um. Last question before I let y'all let y'all go. Um. What is success to you? What's your definition of success? That's a good, that is a good question. It is a good question. No, I can let y'all think about it. and Because right. I, I know what success looks to me, but if y'all already know. What is success for you? Yeah. Success to me is knowing that everything that I said, I've done. Like, knowing the fact that I became a social worker, I've, I've impacted a certain group of people, preferably the, the males. Because, you know, I feel like this one of the few uh, problems that we have. There's a lot of confused um, males nowadays, you know, like, you know, and it's not, and, and if I, if I can impact a certain group of men, group of uh, males, you know, in my age, you know what I'm saying, to become grown, responsible gentlemen like myself, you know, I feel like it will change, it will change a few things, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and also, basically, have a family. Family, you know, like you know, a wife, a kid, and, and all that. That would that would be like okay. I'm to me that would be successful because I've done what I wanted to do, and I also got more what I wanted to do. You know, I I got a career. I'm impacting a certain group of audience, and I'm also I have a, a family like my pops. Basically, that's that's what successful to me, success to me to me. No. Um, what's the sex? Success. I can't say the word success. <laughs> what success. success means to me is, uh, I guess, graduating. Okay, graduating dental school. And then fast forward to having my own practice and showing people that I made it, like being like, a f- one of the few black women orthodontist that in this country, like I feel like I've made it then, and I guess, yeah, okay. and like supporting my family because we like my family is not like really like made it made it, but like we're enough. But like I want to show my family that I always have them and always will. Right. Yeah, you got your prize. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, how about you? Success to me. Um, yeah, I say just, um, you know, all my goals and aspirations that I want to be achieved. I feel like that's what success. I think success is anything that you, anything that you think. Like, it's not just, yeah. like, success can be broad. Like, yeah. it's a broad. Yeah. But thing. to you, though. Um. Yeah, like my. Just getting my dreams and aspirations, everything that I would want done. Yeah. That would be success. Okay, so dreams and aspirations. Would you would y'all be willing to so, sacrifice a few things for that? Like sleep? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Party? Yes. Yeah. 
Because yeah, Cardi's I'll... just a party. Like, right. Okay. They play the same music. Mm-hmm. Same. Like. Yeah. Not going on with your friends. Will y'all sacrifice that too? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I definitely have. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Because I got, you know, I got to ask these type of questions. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you know, you know, people say they want to become successful, but you know, if you're not sacrificing certain things, you know, it's like what, what you are you sure you want to become successful? Like, like how I'm trying to chase. I'm say chase, but like I'm trying to be the next Eric Thomas. I can't be him when I wake up at seven and he wakes up at three or four a.m. You know what I'm saying? I can't be in when, uh, what's it called, when he's getting the stuff he's done. When I get that done, but I get them done at a certain, at a certain point, he gets them done a whole lot earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like, I even, even though when I have free, I have the free time to do them, I um, only do them. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's why I said, like, success is, ooh. ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, nah, that's, yeah, that's pretty like, I, I, know, I got scared for a second. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, man, so, like, he's, uh, he said, I understand what actually success means. I mean, like, you know, I, I, I didn't realize I had to give up certain things to, you know, to stand out. You know what I'm saying? I, that, was, that was, like, one of the few things that, that I started to realize about myself, mm-hmm. that I uh, I started to stand out from other people, you know, because the way I talk, the way I acted, the way I treated, you know, my elders, the way I did certain things, the way I, you know, I just overall was. And and that's why I kind of carried to me to this, uh, to this day. Would y'all say that y'all y'all pretty much like just stand out? You know, like y'all just different, built different. Uh, nah, not really. No. If I'm being honest, nah, not really. Why would you say that? Um, just because I know how I am, I know how my personality is. I'm not built different. <laughs> yeah, me either. I'm just like regular old girl. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Because y'all I just told me, yeah, I'm yeah. regular, but I just. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I kind of because that was y'all just said what's it called? Y'all, y'all, y'all been sacrificing. What's it called? The parties, the friends, and all that. That, that kind of sense. That some people just don't want want to sacrifice that. Some people do not even want to sacrifice sleep. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So if y'all doing those things, man, it sounds like y'all a little bit different to me. Oh, yeah. sweet. <laughs> well, okay, man. This is a this is a wrap. Do y'all want to say anything for the viewers before? Thank you for having us on this podcast. Yeah. It was our very first podcast. And it was mm-hmm. nice. I think we did a pretty good we job. We did. I want to do I would I would do this again. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. And hey, y'all say it too, man. Well, that's a, that's a wrap for the next gen episode, man. It's your boy Disney, aka Griffo, Griffo underscore Cage. That's my IG. And where the kid, where the kid find you at? They can find me on Instagram cuz I'm always on there. OG Zomi. They can find me on Instagram, emora.cooper, E-M-M-O-R-A, because people know how to spell it. Yes. Okay. And y'all be, y'all be on the lookout, man. I'm going to put them back on again. And we out.